Hi everyone, this is Grace from Yesor Chemicals and welcome back to our channel. So I've been getting a lot of comments in our YouTube videos regarding the release of our microcapsulated fragrance in laundry detergent formulation. And finally, here it is. So in our previous video, we have discussed what is microcapsulated fragrance and why is it a game changer in product formulations such as laundry detergent. So now I'm going to show you how exactly we use uh, microcapsulated fragrance in formulating laundry detergents. We will show you uh, tips and tricks on how to formulate this to get the best result in applying microcapsulated fragrance. So let's get into it. Okay, now let's go over the key ingredients in our formula. So we'll be using a mix of non-ionic, anionic, and amphoteric surfactants for deep cleaning along with a special microcapsulated fragrance to ensure its long-lasting scent retention. So let's introduce them first. Firstly, we have our Labsa 96%. This will provide an excellent cleaning performance for our laundry detergent. Next is our SLES 70%. This has good cleansing power as well and this also has good home boosting properties and also hard water resistant. So instead of CAB 35%, we will use CAO 30%. This has the same property as CAB 35%. This has foam boosting and foam stabilizing properties and also this will help enhance the thickness of our formulation. Next is our AE09. So this has excellent degreasing power at 99% concentration. You just need a small amount of this to be added in our formula. Next is CDEA. This has foam boosting property and thickening ability that will improve the viscosity of our product. Next is EDTA disodium. This will be our chelating agent to bind with the unwanted metal ions in our formulation. Next, citric acid. This will adjust the pH of our solution. Next, caustic soda or sodium hydroxide. This will neutralize the Labsa 96% and as well as the SF1 in our formulation. For our preservative, we will use this MIT and CMIT. And here comes the star of this formula, which is the microcapsulated fragrance. So this isn't a usual fragrance oil. These are tiny capsules. They stay intact through washing and only release the scent when the fabric is touched, rubbed, or worn. This is the secret to that premium long-lasting freshness you see in high-end laundry detergents. But just a heads up, you can treat this like regular fragrance. The way you add it into the formula actually matters. So we'll talk more about this in the next part of this video where I'll show you exactly how to handle microcapsules, when to add them, and what to avoid to prevent the breakage of these capsules. And because microcapsulated fragrance has higher density than other liquids, we need to suspend it using SF1. So this will be our suspending agent. And next is our dye. Lastly, the ionized water. So let's start. First, we start by adding our deionized water to our mixing vessel. So let's add 153.9 grams of deionized water. Next, let's add our EDTA disodium. Let's add 0.4 grams of this or 0.2% for our formulation. Now let's mix. After our EDTA, let's add 1.3 grams of caustic soda to neutralize our labsa and as well as SF1. Now let's mix. After our caustic soda, let's add our Labsa 96%. Let's weigh 10 grams of this or 5% of our solution. Next, SLES. Let's add 16 grams of this or 8% for our solution.
after we have fully dissolved the FLES, let's add our CAO. Let's weigh 4% of this or 8 grams for our formula. After our CAO has been fully dissolved, we will now add our CPA. Now let's add 4 grams of this or 2% for our formulation. Next, let's add our AEO9. We will just add 1% of this or 2 grams for our formula. After AEO9, let's add SF1 to suspend the fragrance later. So what we will do is weigh 1 gram of this or 0.5% for our formula and we will first disperse it with water. As we have said earlier, microcapsulated fragrance is denser than other liquids, so we need to suspend it with SF1 to prevent it from settling down at the bottom of our formulation of our detergent. Okay. Now we will add this to our surfactant solution. And we will stir it gently. So now let's check first the pH of our surfactant solution before adding the microcapsulated fragrance to ensure that the pH of this is between 6.5 to 7.5. And after incorporating the SF1 in our formula, we are now headed to the exciting part, which is adding of the microcapsulated fragrance. But we need to take consideration first for a few key points in adding this in our solution. So first is the mixing order. So microcapsulated fragrance should always be added after all the surfactants are properly mixed to avoid breaking the capsules. That's why we are adding this in the last part. Microcapsules are typically stable in pH 6.5 to 7.5. So we need to adjust the pH after adding surfactants and before adding microcapsulated fragrance. I will show you more tips while we are adding the fragrance. When using microcapsulated fragrance, first you shake it well to get all those microcapsulated particles to be suspended. So when you add this, you need to disperse it with water to avoid those clumps when you add it directly to the solution. We will add 1 gram of this microcapsulated fragrance with apple scent. Then we will add a little bit amount of water. This is to ensure that we don't have clumps when we add this to the solution and when we mix it well. Stir this gently. Then, we will add it into our solution. When you add microcapsulated fragrance and you stir it, you need to put it in a low shear mixing. We need to avoid the high speed mixing or strong shear forces as this can break the microcapsules that we have here in the fragrance. So, we will use a low speed mixer to evenly distribute the capsules without damaging them. Let's add our preservative, which is MIT MIT. We will add 0.4 grams or 0.2% for our formulation. After we have added our MIT MIT, let's add our dye. Then let's add our salt, which is our thickening agent. We'll add 2 grams of this or 1% for our formula. For salt, we need to add this gradually until we have achieved our desired viscosity. So we will start by 0.5 grams.
and that's how we formulate a detergent with microcapsulated fragrance. While we're not testing the fragrance release in this video, just keep in mind that once applied to fabric and activated by touch or movement, the scent is gradually released over time. So this will give your laundry that long-lasting freshness effect. So if you'd like to try this for your own product or need help improving your formulation, feel free to reach out to us at Yeser Chemicals.